Isn't it amazing that actually the point of life is not to ease the discomfort? The point of life is not to ease the challenges and difficulties. It now recognizes I'm going through stuff because I don't fit here. I just don't fit here. I, I can prove it to you even in the overall Bible narrative. Do you remember Adam and Eve? The first man and woman who lived, you know where they lived? Home. They lived in your home and my home. That's the home we're headed to. It was God's original plan. But because of their free will that God gave them, they exercised that free will to compromise the perfect environment called home. And God said, I have got to remove you from this home. I'm going to redeem you and bring you back, but you've got to come outside your home. And they were kicked out of their home. And if you'll read in the narrative, they were never told where to go because there's only one space they're supposed to be in, and that's home. And so they would wander from there. And as the Bible story goes on in our history of faith, God chooses a man named Abram, who he will rename Abraham. And guess what defines his life? Wandering. In fact, if you run into Abraham at the right time and ask him where he's going, he'd say, I got no idea, I'm just going. He was a wanderer. Hundreds of years later, Abraham's children, if you will, are enslaved in Egypt under the tyranny of the Egyptians. God supernaturally and miraculously delivers them. And do you know where they go from there? Wandering. A trip that should have took them 44 days takes them 40 years. You move on from there and Jesus himself, Redeemer, Messiah, comes upon the scene, is born in Bethlehem. And in his public ministry, he's quoted saying, I have nowhere to lay my head. I'm a wanderer. What, what's the messaging here, God? You're not home here. This is not, don't get too cozy and comfortable here because this is not your home. Look what 1 Peter says. 1 Peter in chapter 2, I believe it is. Friends, friends, this world is not your home. So don't make yourselves cozy in it. Now, listen, I can get cozy with the best of them. I love getting cozy, right, with Chelsea, watching a movie. That's great. But he's talking about our outlook, our perspective, our priorities, our objectives. Don't get cozy in it. No, 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 no. I, I'm not here to get cozy. I'm here because I'm called to tell a story in my brief stay here. You, you, you don't fit here. That's why you're feeling some of the things you're feeling. You weren't made for this plagued planet. You were made for home, and we are on our way. But in the meantime, we have a story to tell. Romans chapter 12, look what it says in verses 1 and 2 in the Message Bible as well. It says, so here's what I want you to do. God helping you. Take your everyday ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Recognize what you're doing. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Don't become, listen now, don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on home. I'm sorry, God, who is your home home. 